I'll import the file desktop. We saved it as uh, temp temp uh, redo. temp redo okay imported and by the way if you are not able to find that uh, obj importing option you can go to windows setting and preferences plugin manager and then you can check obj export dot mll uh, see whether it's auto loaded or not checked or not okay refresh and then close it okay so now we have our scene file uh, that topology now you can see like a sharp line is there we need to uh, merge all of this we can merge this yeah. and if near to very thin points like very close points are there you can decrease this merge vertex number uh, you can take it to a lower number so that you can easily merge your vertex without uh, like merging two vertex together so now in this portion also i'll take this and merge all of this so now whole mesh is merged you can see the details are still there and now you can take it back to zbrush and like smooth it or something do like that and i can like extrude this thing i have assigned a hotkey for me so you can go to mm -hmm. the status line uh, you can go to animation menu and from here like you can go to mesh extract extrude everyone knows this <laughs> but just wanted to tell uh, you can extrude this thing mm -hmm. so that we have some thickness to it so we'll extrude this on extrude and then we'll add some uh, vertex over here so edges over here so edge 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 and edge now this is done now we'll export it back again so we'll save it as uh, we need to say uh, export it here temp reto um, to let's to hit is export okay now this mesh has like exported so we'll go to hades open that uh, this is the hades interface if you want to learn about hades using how we can use hades uh, you can refer to my tutorial I have made uh, explaining all the interface and all so we'll hop in this thing so we go to desktop mm, and then we'll go to what did I name it ha, temp to edis okay load this will load in you can extend this and now uh, for navigation it's all the same alt and then left click to rotate around alt middle click to pan and alt uh, right click to zoom in and out okay to we need to create a symmetry first so we'll click this symmetry find and then we'll click in the middle of the place where you feel it's symmetrical i'll click on this edge and then press space bar okay now you can see the one portion is light gray and other is like dark gray so you can this tells that a symmetry is being created and perfect symmetry is there or else you will get an error message that uh, some points are green and they are not perfectly symmetrical so now you need to find edges so that you can uh, basically Hades works like this you need to find some edges to find the, uh, the loop over there and from there you can cut it so that uh, your meshes uh, you can have your UVs laid in that fashion I'll show you uh, to make a cut you need to press C C C so that it's a loop so it will select all of this and then press C and if you don't want to like have a cut over here you can press shift W and this will go off C will bring a cut and shift W will take it off so C and then C over here and then I'll put a C and C uh, C and then this is the inner part C okay now we need to cut it from here C C check whether it's there okay C okay now press enter on the keyboard it will expand the mesh you can uh, press spacebar and middle click to take it off spacebar and middle click enter spacebar and middle click and this is one portion so now drop into uv space 
like you i'll press d key now when i'll press one i'll be in uv view i can rotate this thing i press space bar and then left click and then rotate it as you feel like space bar left click rotate uh, here is also the navigation is same space bar and left click space bar and left click and to, uh, to scale this thing you need to space bar press space bar and then right click this will scale this uh, but thing is never scale the UVs if UV uh, hideous has laid them because then it will give you stretching so leave it as it is and now see the magic happening Sh press shift and F to see the magic uh, it will take some time it is saying giving this hold spacebar to release the boundaries and now I'll press spacebar and our UVs are automatically created yeah. <laughs> wait for some time okay then to stop this process press spacebar and then press spacebar uh, shift and f and spacebar now press spacebar again or you can wait for some time mm, but i just press it then I'll do the same for this thing shift and f higher the poly count it is will take more time to calculate it but it uh, does this very quickly so no problem at all press the space bar and press the space bar okay now all of our UVs are created uh, for like a little uh, tip I'll give you like you can press shift and then left click and then drag it if our UVs are not laid properly now you can see the this color coding uh, green means like everything is good over here um, red means like so uh, red is like a warning signal for you and if it is blue then this means that this is uh, UV it is taking more than required space so try to make it as green as possible green is good for health <laughs> okay take it back and now if you will press you can see we have done this on one side but it didn't take place on the other side so you will press s click on the side which you want to mirror s and it will mirror on the other side okay you can check for errors no i see like it's good now to um, pack all the uh, uvs in this space you need to press a uh, bracket key which is like near to enter and below plus or minus so bracket okay now it has packed our uvs uh, you can arrange it like if you want to scale it or something uh, but uh, do it for all of them so that none of your stretching takes place now i uh, to export this out i'll go to update and then update to the same thing and it will rename it as update uh, whatever your name is then uv layout dot obj okay now then dismiss this thing and we'll go back to Maya and now we'll import it. Import next up. It is tempo to it is okay. So now we have two mesh and we can check whether UVs are there or not. We can see our UVs newly created UVs are there. So now we don't need this mesh, we can delete this, or I can show you one more cool trick which you can do like. Mm, um, by the way these are my marking menus i have a tutorial for them if you want you can check it on my blog okay i'll drag it on over here i'll take them board into smooth view see why frame for this you can see this uh this vest has no uvs for this mm -hmm. and this has so you can uh, mirror the uvs uh, on this vest like click uh, first select this one uh, from which you want to copy and then select the other one to which you want to copy and then go to polygons mesh and then transfer attribute select this and now you can transfer various attributes uh, by default i'll reset this uh, this is set to world space uh, sample space uh, you need to check it to component and then transfer and now you can see uh, this thing has uvs for this you can see it has a uh, history connected to it so that's also not a problem you can just click uh, freeze transformation and then history and this will be there. now you can select either of them and it, that pink line is not coming so i'll delete this one 
and then I will take this to um, back to ZBrush export selection OBJ export and then select this one tempo to Z via USH to ZBrush okay now I'll import this using the blank area simple brush I'll import this uh, tempo to ZBrush I'll drag it onto the canvas then press T key and then control N and then frame and now we have our newly created vest with all the UVs on it now we can simply do but like geometry and then divide uh, you can like uh, turn on this button smooth so that for first subdivision it holds it a shape and then from the second subdivision level you can divide it and then you can manually smooth this thing and now you can go forward with your sculpting and all okay i think you find this tutorial interesting uh, you can uh, watch my other tutorials on my blog and please do rate comment and subscribe uh, this motivates any artists okay thank you and have a nice day bye